BSM-3 is an important part of our portfolio as the flagship sonar in the Simrad brand. From uh, Simrad's roots in commercial fishing to 2011 when we were the first uh, company to introduce chirp technology into the sport fishing market to today um, with our focus on power boating and sport fishing, the BSM-3 is a really, really exciting, important introduction to the Simrad portfolio. Over the past few years, we've done a lot of work to really understand the needs of sport fishing captains and serious fishermen. And uh, the BSM-3 is great because it really culminates all of that work. And whether you're a coastal commercial fisherman or a charter captain who's just got to put fish in the boat, or a serious fisherman who's got, who, who's, who really is going to try to get the best out of his fishing day and get the best the money can buy, that is the BSM-3. That's our target market. That's what we're all about with this product. And uh, again, uh, I think you'll see today when, you, uh, when we show you some of the footage, um, we really uh, have nailed it with the BSM-3. Hi, I'm Lucas, and this is Matthew. We're with the Simrad Sonar uh, product development team, and we're here to tell you about the new Simrad BSM-3 Chirp Sounder. Matthew, what can you tell us about the BSM-3? So BSM-3 is Simrad's new dual channel chirp sport fishing echo sounder. Dual channel chirp. What's, what makes that more important than single channel? So dual channel chirp is really cool because it lets you use any of Airmar's existing dual channel chirp transducers. And what that means is, is you get the ability to do two different sets of chirp ranges at the same time. I think most people know what chirp is, but for the, for the average person, it's still confusing. What, what does Chirp actually do? Yeah, so Chirp is, is a really cool technology. Um, we're all familiar with our single frequency transducers, right? 50 kilohertz, 200 kilohertz. Um, but Chirp actually opens this up to a wide spectrum of, of frequencies. So you're no longer looking at just one frequency and one echo. Oh, that's great. So what, what advantages, how is this going to help somebody catch more fish? Yeah, Chirp really helps you catch fish because it uh, really helps you pull fish out of the water column. So if you imagine a school of bait fish with a single frequency transducer, you only send and receive on one frequency at a time. But with chirp, you can hit each fish gets hit with a different frequency. So you can really pull targets out of out of a school. So with the advancements in the sonar modules, what's happening in transducers? Yeah, so there's actually two big changes coming to the chirp transducers. The first one is connectors, and the second one is wide coverage areas. Okay, so connectors for plug and play, but yeah. what about wide coverage? Yeah, so wide coverage is really cool. Um, what it what it means is you see more fish easier. Oh, that's that's great. Is that better for the shallow water uh, or upper water column trolling situation? It is, but it's also good in deep water situations also. So the biggest benefits of chirp sonar are you're sweeping a frequency range, which means you put more energy on the targets, which helps you pull fish out of the water column easier, in addition to improved noise rejection, which means you get a better idea of what's happening below your boat. That's a high-performance sonar module, but what have we done to make it easier to use? We've actually done several things to make it easier. Uh, number one is we've moved a bunch of the controls forward in the displays. Two is we've adapted it for use with our new Evo 2 line of touchscreen monitors. And third is we've actually added a feature called live updating, which means when you adjust the sonar, you see live what it does to the display. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go upstairs and take a look. So one of the biggest advancements we made with BSM-3 was its ability to lock bottom. Um, it'll hold a bottom really nice when you're running at speed, um, but another thing we've changed is its ability to reacquire bottom. So say you're running out to a fishing spot and you back down on it to you know, position yourself perfectly. When you throw all those air bubbles over the transducer, you have a tendency to lose the bottom. But what we've done with BSM-3 is we've adjusted the way we reacquire bottom to make sure it's the fastest in the industry. So one of the challenges to implementing chirp sonar technology is an effect that we call side lobing. Side lobing leads to false targets in the water column and a hazy bottom reading. But with Simrad's chirp sonar processing techniques, you'll always see clear targets and a solid bottom lock. So we're out on the water and we're going to give you a couple of techniques on how to improve your deep dropping setup. I'm going to show you on the screen here, we're out in uh, 63 fathoms and we're basically bottom dropping for tile fish. First thing you want to do is go into your view and we're going to set it up with a bottom color mode. And we're going to go into the, uh, the split and turn on zoom. And we have an eight times zoom set up. So you can see this split window down here on the bottom is now expanded. So this is maximizing the resolution of the display. And what you can pick out are these tile fish that are setting in the grooves of the uh, bottom. And we have some good wave actions, which some of that you're seeing. But this is uh, how you can pick out those small targets that are right on the bottom. An important setup you need to know. As excited as I am about the BSM-3, it's part of a much larger package. When you're, when you're fishing boats like this, 
you really have to have the 360 view. And an integrated system with the best chart plotter, the best radar, and the best autopilot with your best sounder module is really what we're all about. And that's what our current portfolio is.